Call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. <laughs> you are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> OK, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. See what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah!
get off the trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men at camp. All right. Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick! Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Just get out of sight. <laughs> Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Get out of here. Get out of here. I let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? But, but tell me what you heard. I don't, I, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right, coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back. Place looks empty to me. The old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! It's over for you! Arthur, be careful! Move ah! Move ah! More on the right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. We got more of the bastards on the side. This fella really don't like getting robbed. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. There's a goddamn horn of them on the left here. You ain't the first man I feel. God damn it, they're coming in this way now. Ugh! 
This is a young man's game. Uh oh, sounds like they got some trouble over there. We better go give them a hand. You're going to go. Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our back. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jensen. Stay quiet and move. <laughs> 